Hey Virgo, hope you guys are all doing well. This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your general love reading, okay? We're going to look at the energy between you and your person of interest, your partner, whoever you're dating, whoever's in your energy right now. This could be an ex, past lover, we are going to see. Keep in mind that I do multiple readings each month for each zodiac sign, so if this Particular reading does not resonate please do check out my other readings you are bound to find something that does okay so this is for Virgo Sun Moon rising and Venus okay for you and your person Virgo you and your person this will be a timeless reading okay this time is fluid so it could have taken place in the recent past or it could take place over the next several weeks from the time that you view this reading okay so let me know if this resonates. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Appreciate all your love and support, guys. I'm going to use the Spellcaster's Tarot for the main spread. And I have the Everyday Witch for clarification, okay? So let's get right into it, Virgo. What is going on between you and your person? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The mutual energy between you and your person is the Three of Cups in reverse, okay? You could be dealing with a water sign, but I do feel like there's a um, possibly a broken connection. You guys may not be together right now, may have been dating, and now we're just not seeing each other anymore. This also can indicate a third party situation that is now coming to an end, okay? So if this person had you on the side, I do feel like now maybe they're making a choice, okay, as to who they're going to give their love to. We're going to find out, okay? We do have the challenge as the emperor in reverse, okay? So maybe trying to get this situation back in the shape, okay? Trying to get control of the matter. The recent past energy is the two of cups. So wow, guys, you guys had a lot of love for each other here, okay? Definitely filling each other's cups up, having great times, sharing memories. Um, yeah, a lot of emotional vulnerability, being satisfied, you know, in every way possible, especially when it comes to emotions, okay? So on your mind, Virgo, we do have the hermit in reverse, okay? This is definitely your energy, all right? Or this could be your person who was um, very distant, you know, may have taken some time, may have blocked you, okay, kind of had to go within to find answers, and now they are reappearing, they are reemerging from the dust, okay? At the foundation is the Ten of Cups in reverse, right? So definitely here, you guys are not together, not speaking, or there's just a lack of love, okay? Um, maybe it's also a family situation. You have had children with this person, maybe in a, a broken marriage. Okay, we're going to find out. Coming into the moment is a six of wands. So you're going to be feeling victorious. You're going to be able to achieve something here. Okay, you may be again, getting attention from others or certainly this person. You could be looked at as being very victorious as well. Your energy is the moon in reverse. So you may be finding out about something here with some kind of secret. Also Pisces cancer energy. We're going to find out. And your partner has the lovers in reverse, okay? So they could be definitely feeling an ending, an ending here. Wow, with the lovers, three of cups, ten of cups, and the two of cups, definitely strong soulmate energy. You could have been dealing with this person for quite some time, okay? Very, very strong magnetic um, soulmate bond, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. The outcome is the five of swords. Oh, sorry, guys. I mean, that hurts. I, I see that five of swords. Someone, you know, trying to go behind your back. Um, trying to take advantage of you, fighting, bickering, okay, a lot of drama, cutting energy, all right? We're going to find out more about that. The bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? And the King of Cups. Wow, guys. So you guys are definitely a match, all right? And judgment was trying to come out. So uh, I do feel like you guys are a match. We do have someone who is more of the feminine energy who is a little bit more closed off, okay? Even though she may be more of a nurturing, very loving, attentive, affectionate person. Right now, she is not showing that, okay? She's very much um, close off to this connection. Maybe, you know, she's angry, okay? She may have been hurt by this King of Cups. This King of Cups may have, um, you could be dealing with a water sign very strongly here. We have a lot of water throughout the spread, Virgo. But if anything, I do feel like maybe this person took advantage of you, um, you know, left you feeling emotionally 
um, empty or void, okay, may have hurt you in some way. We're going to find out more about that, but I do feel like with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here, you guys are a match, okay? You guys are definitely like destined to be like a power couple here, okay? At one point, you guys had a lot of love, a lot of emotional satisfaction, being completely transparent and vulnerable with each other. I do feel like this is a long-standing relationship, possibly even a marriage here, Virgo, okay? So, um... Let's get to clarifying, okay? That's where we'll start. Let's get to clarifying what the Queen of Cups, okay? Queen of Cups and the King of Cups is here. We have the Page of Cups, okay? So if I do feel, again, the, the more Divine Feminine is more angry right now, I do feel like maybe this King of Cups is now coming with some kind of offer or some kind of apology, okay? If they let this Queen of Cups down, um, I do feel like they want to make it up to this person. Again, you know, we all have both masculine and feminine energies, okay? It could be vice versa. It could be the um, Divine masculine trying um you know who's angry who now wants to make it up to the divine i mean i'm sorry it could be the vice versa it could be the divine feminine who wants to send an apology to the divine masculine okay take it how it resonates guys regardless there's one person who wants to extend an apology who wants to um ask for forgiveness okay so if they did some kind of wrongdoing if they're the one who's responsible for some kind of broken marriage broken relationship okay a lack of harmony and trust between you guys i do feel like someone now wants to apologize so we have the three of cups in reverse what is this three of cups in reverse i do feel like it could have been a third party that was interfering in this connection that may have caused the downfall regardless i do feel like um that may be an, an ending to that particular relationship or that third party energy we also have the chariot in reverse you could be dealing with the cancer this is saying that you guys are just not able to move forward you guys are not able to move towards a victory here there's a lack of success here just like the six of wands kind of like but in the, in the current energy right now, you guys aren't able to move forward. You guys aren't even able to see forward, okay? Guys, tower. So, wow, you guys are going through a big, a big, very, um, uh, big change in your life, okay? This is very monumental. Um, but the tower card, something is coming to an end, okay? There's some kind of destruction. Very, very uncomfortable change here. Something was not built solid, and so now it's coming, falling down, okay? This is the universe intervening so that something can be built on a very more solid structure that will stand the test of time okay so um yeah right now you guys are not able to move forward there's a lack of progression okay um let's find out more but yeah this tower there's something here that you guys are going through right now um really really tough time okay and the challenge is that you guys are trying to get something under control okay with the emperor in reverse this is a lack of control a lack of seeing a way forward um you're not able to make a decision that is um going to get you out of this really tough trying energy okay because the tower is very very uncomfortable to be in okay but it's going to really kick start things it's going to really bring great change to this particular um connection okay so what do we have for the Emperor in reverse? You could be dealing with an Aries here, okay? We also have Cancer, um, strong water energy, all right? Why is the Emperor in reverse? You could be dealing with someone who is the um, your child's father or um, mother, okay? Ten of Cups, okay? So, yeah, there's a lack of um, forward movement here regarding a family situation. You Again, you very, very strongly have children with this person or maybe even a marriage, okay? You definitely saw this person as your Ten of Cups. They, um filled every cup up and they made you happy very fulfilled um, very loving and with the two of cups in the past energy you know you guys were a union you guys were definitely um a great pair a match okay and again i can't ignore that we had the queen of cups and the king of cups okay so definitely power couple um very long-standing strong strong relationship very strong dynamic okay but yeah something is um right now there's a lack of control in this family situation. Um, I also feel like, you know, during this pandemic, you know, things are just um, crazy and chaotic. You know, people losing their jobs, lack of financial security. I do feel like there's a lack of, um, it's causing a lot of uh, dismantling of this family structure and everything as well, okay? I do feel like that may be the reason um, as well leading into all this with this tower card, okay? Take it how it resonates. Let me get a card for the two of cups. Recent past energy, two of cups. You guys are really loving and sharing, you know, cups with each other. Really great, really great memories. Three of wands. So you guys really did see a way moving forward. You were able to build, make plans. Um, really able to see your life with this person, okay? Really, really great positive energy, okay? I don't know what happened. What really, um, we'll get into clarifying a little bit more. But 
I feel like things were very, very sudden. With the Tower card here, things were great one day. You were able to see this person in your future, make plans for, you know, the future. And then all of a sudden, this Tower card came and things were just destroyed here in your home life, okay? Um, and it affected everyone, everyone, everything, okay? Your home, your family, your children. So very very difficult energy the hermit in reverse okay so you could have gone within okay this is something that you are thinking about what's on your mind you could have had taken a step back and now have the answers after going within and finding um you know your light you know typically with the hermit card you know this is someone who um takes a step back meditates um very maybe kind of goes into like a spiritual um energy and they they try to find the answers to whatever that's going through you know really just also a little bit solo kind of um removing themselves from the situation so you may have gone in that particular um hermit energy and now you're coming out of it because maybe you have the answers to something maybe you figured it all out we also have the eight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy you could be now working on building your structure back your stability some kind of abundance okay whatever that tower card um Whatever that tower brought into your life that destroyed, I do feel like you're now able to rebuild that back up, okay? Um, you're now putting in time, energy, and effort into your, your solid, um, you know, your home, bringing some kind of, you know, money, revenue, um, working on your assets, investments, that kind of thing, okay? Now with the Ten of Cups in reverse, okay, again... Um, the family is just, you know, Ten of Cups came out twice, guys, just so you know. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. So right now, at the foundation, you know, you guys are not together because Ten of Cups came out reverse, okay? So again, a loss of um, love, harmony, peace in the home life, okay? Gosh, Two of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I could feel strongly, guys, you could have been dealing with an air sign or, or the reason why you guys had a downfall with the Two of Cups in reverse is because there was some kind of air sign that intermingled or intervened in this connection, okay? Third party energy. Um, if not, this could be you, Virgo, who was very, um, very much, you know, not accepting anything less than the truth in this person you are very logical you're not getting your feelings involved okay when dealing with this person you're not getting all lovey-dovey okay i feel like you are um you're standing in your power you're not letting this person walk over you um and you're in control okay so you you are definitely standing in this queen of swords energy because well, with the emperor in the verse there was a lack of control lack of moving forward lack of decision making and well now you are taking ownership you are moving forward you are stepping up to the plate and leading okay in this relationship but you're not lovey-dovey okay so in the past yeah you were sweet loving um you know affection and all that stuff but now you're not okay because whatever you dealt with this person regarding this tower if it was a third party energy you're not accepting it anymore and you're not allowing this person to walk over you okay so yeah and the queen of swords has been hurt okay queen of swords um in reverse queen of cups in reverse okay so at one point you could have been lovey-dovey you could have been really um open with this person but i do feel like it could have been if it's a queen of cups or a queen of swords, okay, air or water, someone may have gotten in, interfered in this connection, okay? That's what I'm feeling here, okay? Let's let's find out what the six of wands is. So regardless, I do feel like you're moving towards something that's going to make you feel victorious, that you're going to achieve something, a milestone here, and it's going to bring you a lot of recognition. It may even bring you a lot of attention from people, okay? Ten of Swords, so this could be an ending, okay? There's an ending here with this possibly this past person. It's very clear as day. There's a lot of endings here with the Ten of Cups here and um, Queen of Cups in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. It's definitely an ending. So you may hit rock bottom with this person and you're no longer able to move forward, okay? Um, I feel like you are, you're accepting it, you know, for what it is, okay? And this person may have devastated you, betrayed you, um... To a point where you just can't move forward you can't have a beginning okay but you're going to do something that's going to make you feel very um on top of the world very happy accomplished okay wow we do have the the wheel of fortune guys and we have the seven of cups okay so you can feel like things are now turning in your favor like um you've gone through a really long tough cycle with this person here with the tower card and the ten of swords it's left you really bruised battered um you know but i do realize I do feel like you realize that, you know, it's taught you something, okay? There's a lot of um, karmic, you know, energy here. Maybe you felt like this was just bound to happen, but you learned so much from it, okay? And I do feel like you're going to be able to rise after the dust has settled, and you may feel that like you now have a lot of 
different opportunities here you know with the seven of cups is opportunities and love a lot of different options okay and so you feel like you have a lot that you have to offer um and you have a lot of love to give okay but you do feel like things is turning in your favor with the wheel of fortune upright okay so um definitely closing of a cycle with the ten of swords and the wheel of fortune closing of a cycle with this past person moving forward okay you have may may have felt that this person had um secrets okay that may have finally came out here with the moon in reverse, okay, there's some kind of um, fears and anxieties that are now being released or some kind of secrets that were kept from you. Maybe you were being disillusioned by this person, maybe disillusioned by, you know, the love they were giving, maybe they were emotionally manipulative, okay, with the king of cups. He doesn't have the firmest hold of his emotions, okay, but something may have come out, some kind of secret, some kind of great revelation that has caused you now to move on and accept it for what it is, the ten of swords and the wheel, okay, um, but regardless, I do feel like it's able to allow you to release something here with, with the, um, moon in reverse, okay, again, ten of wands, something was very heavy, okay, I do feel like that, that tower was really here for you, okay, there's something that you, that really was troubling, troubling you in your life, okay, that is really, um, cause a lot of destruction okay very very uncomfortable energy you really went through it all with the ten of wands and the ten of swords very very strongly energy um ending of a ending of a cycle um and you're accepting it for what it is you know you had to really go through a lot with this person um and yeah you wouldn't wish it on anyone but you've made it you've you are at this very ending, and I do feel like you have a new beginning coming in with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Things are now going to be turning around in your life. You're going to be able to release this past and all the hurt, the fears, and anxieties that came with it and um, move on, okay? And so your person has the lovers in reverse, okay? Yeah, so they're trying to find strength on how to accept this, okay? With the lovers in reverse, I do feel like they realize that you've moved on, okay? You guys are no longer um, together. This isn't a union. This is a lack of of um coming together and unrequited love okay and this person has to find strength or willpower to be able to move on or pass this because i do feel like they may be still thinking um of you here with the lovers in reverse or not really not really um entirely 100 percent that you really were going to leave them or maybe even just moved on and that this is really an ending here because you've accepted as an ending i feel like your person is still like really like are you sure that kind of thing okay let me find out another card for that I don't feel like this person sits too well with you moving. Wow, nine of wands. Your person doesn't want to give up. Guys, this is like the the um, wounded warrior, okay? Even though they're wounded, battered, bruised after a very long journey, a war, they're still willing to give it one last shot, okay? So this person with the nine of wands is still passionate. They still have drive energy left in them. They still have strength, okay? You could be dealing with the Leo, also Leo, Sag, um, Aries. Very, very strong. So this person still wants to give it one last go, even though they um, realize that you've moved on, okay? We have the Two of Cups. You know, this is a definitely, um, you guys are no longer together, okay? Even though you guys have been through it all, the Tower, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, that you have felt every sword in your back, okay? Virgo, I do feel like your person is like, no, I have one less fight. I, I can continue on. I can do this. Let's just give it one more shot, you know, with this last one wand standing here, okay? So they do want to, um, they don't want you to move on, okay? They definitely feel like there's something still left here, okay? Five of Swords, I feel like you can't trust this person. Let me get a card for the Five of Swords. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like you just, you, you feel like this person can't be trusted, okay? Like you can't keep them too close to you. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. This person could be really, um... It's just it's, things have gotten too far out of control with the Emperor in reverse that you can't see things whipping back into shape. There's no way that you can undo everything that has done. So the best thing is to move on because with the Five of Swords, you, you can't trust this person. You can't get them too close to you. You um you feel like this is just a lost fight, you know. Um, you've been through it all with this person and you just feel defeated. You can't give this another go, okay? It would cause too much conflict, okay? It would go against everything that you stand for. When the Emperor in reverse, you just feel like this is just a lost cause. There's no way moving forward. This person, um, things have just gotten too much out of control and you can't, you can't get things back on the right path. So this is definitely giving up and accepting it for what it is because, well, Virgo, you know, some things came out and it's allowed you to move forward here, possibly some kind of secret lies, deception, and you are definitely, definitely realizing that this is an ending. Two tens here, 
ending here, Wheel of Fortune, you're moving on. There's a closing of a cycle, okay? But this Tower card was a blessing in disguise. It allowed you to propel to be able to move forward and get and leave this person behind, okay? So I do feel like this is wonderful energy. Virgo, um, yeah, beautiful energy. You're definitely releasing. Um, this was definitely a very strong love. Um, I do feel like this person... Maybe even a codependent relationship. I feel like it was very hard to release this, but I do feel like you are releasing it. You're moving forward and you're getting out of it, okay? Because you feel like this is just no, there's no longer um, anything here for you, okay? So very beautiful energy, Virgo. Let me know if this resonates. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe, and come back for another reading, guys. All right, bye-bye.